All right, everybody, we're going to talk about Howie's mold. She did mold on June 19th, 2024, a few days ago, and I wanted to have everyone look at her mold before she eats it. So as you can see here um, was that crack that she had from her last mold that healed. And when people ask me about her eyes, if she blinks, she has a shell over them and it's thin and it's clear. So it's literally her little windshield for her eyes. And so when she wipes them, she's just clearing those off. So when she molts, the eyes go with her mold. And you can see just how smooth and porous this is. This is made out of calcium uh, carbonate, which is primarily what crab shells are made out of and chitin as well. So you can see a little part of her beard as where her lines split and her little itty bitty mustache. And then I'll start to show you some of the other parts in the tank. All right, this is Howie's molt. We're gonna start with the underside and we're gonna talk about the different parts of her body. So this is her apron and this is her poop flap. So it is all connected and connected by the same muscle. So if we lift this up, this is where her female anatomy is. These little tendrils would hold any eggs that she had while she had them, but Howie has never had eggs. So, but her species is gendered by their stomach plates. A male would have a much narrower triangular shape. And that's pretty much true for all species. And all of her leg joints here are made of soft, um, chitin and are very flexible, kind of like cartilage in a way. And then the tips of her claws are very, very, very hard. And typically Howie will not eat those. And underneath, as we are looking here, you can see her, her mandibles, which are right here. Those are her little happy mouth hands. Those are called her third maxillipeds. And she uses those to hold food and also to wipe her eyes. And here's the other half of her beard here. Her beard is very soft. And so are all of her leg hairs as well. So Howie will not eat her claws typically anymore because they've gotten so large and uh, too hard for her to consume. So hopefully she'll leave those, but I will put this all back in her cave shortly. So some of the structures inside are kind of gross. So hopefully you've maybe seen last year's video and decided that you wanted to see this one too. But she has a lot of structures in here. So these little feather-like structures, I'll try to zoom in here. Um, those are her gills, and she ends up regrowing new ones during her molting period, and she leaves the old ones behind. And there are structures inside here. These attach to some of the muscles inside to help her move her mouthpieces. It's almost like her jaws, right there. And then you can see the bottom half of her little mustache. There's some hairs you can kinda, kinda see. And then these little, um, they're almost like tendons here that I'm holding. Those connect to her eyes to help move her eyes and other parts of her face. And this is the end of her digestive tract. So she leaves this all behind. And people are often confused on how she grows an entirely different digestive tract. It's like wearing two pairs of pants and you, and then the other one is smaller, and then you pull those out, and the larger one remains. I guess more like a sock would be a better analogy. Um, it does not work like that for her gills, though, so she grows a, a different set for that. And so this is this is actually her her rectum here. That's the very end, and then that goes through this hole to the front where she would go to the bathroom. So 
when she regenerates and molts, it's not just shedding her shell. There's a lot going on in here in all these structures in her body. So, and we were wondering how this comes out. See where I pull on this? This is attached. Let's see if we can zoom in on that even more. This is attached there. And then the film forms there to where when it pulls out, it, it only attaches to the old digestive tract. And that's what helps her remove that when then the old one is behind. So right now, Howie is sitting under her log in the heater. Yep, sitting over here. And she's hardening and she's hanging out by her heater. Just going in there, but she will come back and eat her mold. So I am going to leave that in there for her. Let's see if I can get that to focus. She's doing very well. So anyway, some of the other questions that we had about Howie's molt is, you know, does her brain or nerves change? No, those all go with her, uh, as well as her green glands, which will grow separately on their own within her new shell now that she's larger. And those are response, those are like her kidneys and those will pee, yes, how, how he does pee out of a little um, hole above or below her eye and she does poop out the front. So I do have separate videos on that on YouTube if you're looking to, for more educational content about crabs. So yeah, let me know what other questions uh, you guys have. Um, some of the ones that we get asked a lot or when or is she gonna molt again and I'm assuming based upon her last three to four molts that maybe we have another 10 months with her and that would be fabulous. And um, her birthday is estimated and that is going to be on June 24th here coming up and we're excited for that. But Howie won't be hard enough to celebrate quite yet. So we'll probably put off festivities until she's feeling her crabby best but you know, we'll do a, something small on the 24th to mark the day. And then we'll do something fun when she can come out of her tank. I'm trying to think of any other questions that I get asked a lot. Um, yep, okay, that's it. You guys just let me know your questions in the comments and I will do my darndest to help answer those. Hi, Howie, can you squeak? Talk to mama. Are you trying to poop? Well, that's not what we wanted. Yeah, interesting fact, crabbies do uh, poop out of the front. <laughs> it's not pretty. Yep, uh, there it is. She has this fun little poop flap that she opens and it just kind of comes out and then she uh, literally pinches off a loaf. <laughs> I know it seems yucky, but that's just what crabbies do. Not very much poopy in there, Howie. Barely any. You're trying to make any sort of room, huh, honey? You. This is for educational purposes only and not for shock value. Just as a as a disclaimer, I'll have to go and put a disclaimer in the beginning. This isn't how I wanted this video to go. <laughs> If anyone is asking what that string is, it's probably epithelial cells from the lining of her digestive tract because she's trying to grow a larger one. Isn't that right, Howie? There's just some kind of gross things there, but let's uh let's wash it up and clean you up, baby. 
I hope everybody learned a lot here. <laughs> Sorry for uh, showing that very private moment of you, Howie, on the internet. I love you. All right, Howie, you get some extra love. You get extra love for educating the world on Krabby's. Yeah, you know, because science and education systems don't really talk about Krabby's and all the things that they go through. And you're a good Krabby to help show the world. Yeah. We love you, Howie. Everyone does.